guys, so I'm here with Missy. Hi. And Missy actually has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below, but she said she doesn't really use it that often. But if she ever gets back into the flow, she can have some subscribers that will be back on if you guys want to check her out. And she also is most active on Instagram. Pink Missy Sparkles with a Z. Stop. <laughs> Today we are actually going to be doing the $20 makeup challenge. She's a survivor too, by the way. Yeah, nine. nine years? I don't even know how old I am. I think eight years. Eight years. Eight years survivor of Hodgkin's lymphoma. This girl's next. Yeah, we're gonna show you our receipts and then I'm also worried. Proof. This is how much we have left. So I have a quarter and two dimes, so that's 45. Cents. And I have 18 cents left over. She did like this whole like mathematician stuff, and I was just like, girl, I'm just gonna get this. Well, we had it. I mean, you have to be creative. I mean, if you're trying to do... So we went two places. We went to CVS and Walmart. At Walmart, I bought a brush set, and this was $148. This <laughs> is, I think, the best quality brushes on the market right now. <laughs> so go get you some brushes. Okay, so that is the NYC foundation that I found. It was seriously so light, I just couldn't... I, I couldn't pass it up because it's so hard to find my color. Two ninety one with tax. P.S. We did include tax in yeah, this. Yeah, I know, and I really didn't want to, but she made me. I told her that if you have twenty dollars, you have to include tax. It's not like you can say, "I only have twenty dollars, sir. Can you not charge me tax?" The other thing that I got from Walmart was the NYC Skin Foundation Matching Adapting Technology in six eight eight. I feel like it's gonna be too dark for me because. Um, all the other ones were two pink tones, so... It looked like it matched your neck. We'll try it. You never know. Sometimes it looks darker in the packaging. The last thing I got at Walmart was a trio from NYC, and this was two seventy four, and I plan to use this also for my eyebrow. I have three receipts. So I have did three. Like I have three. Three, transa uh, three transactions to get our needed, desired amount. Yeah. So I purchased the, which she so kindly threw away, my mm -hmm. receipt, um, the Physician's Formula Matte, you want sure. I bought the Physician's Formula Matte Collection for my eyeshadow. I'm going to use that for my contour, because it's matte. How are you going to contour? You didn't get no brushes. Oh, you have a brush. Crap. Ha ha on you. Ha ha on you. If you bought $10 worth of Maybelline. 15 Fifteen dollars with the Maybelline, then you got um, like five dollars yeah. more. I then so by buying fifteen dollars worth of Maybelline, I ended up getting five dollars more extra bucks. So I got the Fit Me blush. Don't hold it too close, and my head can't be in it because then it will focus on me. I got the baby lips because this will be like a nice hint of color, and I got the Great Lash Lots of Lashes mascara. Ooh, this is so nice. It seriously looks just like Urban Decay liners, right? And then I have a swatch of one of them that I swatched in the store. Um, bad, and it was bad girl. Shh, bad girl. You did too. If you look at the tip of this, it literally looks like um, Urban, Decay. Urban Decay. It's waterproof and it's a really pretty plum color, which is really great for fair skin as an alternative to black eyeliner. And then I just got this Dollar um, NYC. Uh, lipstick lipstick right here okay and so that physician formula deal was pretty awesome so I got I decided to get this and I really like that I'm going to actually use this for my bronzer hopefully and these two for my highlight shade because I'm trying to do a prom look I decided to get a blush this is the bouncy blush and I'm probably gonna use this for my lips as well and then I had literally like a dollar 40 or something and so I was just like whatever I'm just gonna get the most of my money and I decided to get an NYC lipstick as well and this one is in retro red and I literally wouldn't get any of the other ones because they were all they shimmery had shimmer in them that's and really nice for 94 cents I think it was nine, nine yeah 98 cents so let's just get into the tutorial only got $20 in my pocket. so sorry for that really long intro but 
for our twenty dollar makeup challenge, we're using Nars Compact. <laughs> it's the irony of it all. This stuff is so mine. thick. I'm like, I don't even know how I'm gonna get it out. This is the consistency of mine. Okay, so first impressions. This foundation is <laughs> extremely thick. Thick. Look. Not gonna spill anywhere. Oh my gosh, it kind of burns. Wow, look at that. Wow. I'm seriously impressed. That's and it's dark. thick enough. Well, the other one was way too pink for you. This kind of stings me too. Oh, you need to, you know, blend that in. Holy Just. I don't think they can tell. Look at that, yeah they can. It's literally racing off your face. Oh my gosh, it's not normal. Let it dry. I oh. did let it dry. Do not wear this for prom. This one is really nice. Mine is the Lucky. liquid, Lucky. liquid, Lucky. liquid. Round two, I'm using a lot more and I'm using just all my fingers. I'm just gonna go for this, guys. Look how disgusting that is. Oh my gosh. Is it peeling again? No, I just okay. it's just disgusting. Okay, get the yeah, you're good. It looks a lot better. Get under it right here. Where? I don't want to get my whiteness all over you. This crap? No. Nay. Skin foundation matching adapting technology. This. That didn't adapt to anything but the napkin. Can you see how splotchy that is? Let me see. Right there. And right there. Is it gonna rub off if don't, I don't touch it? Don't touch it, don't touch it. Okay. Don't touch. I, I just touched it and it just went squeaking the hickey. What? Went squeaking the hickey. Went squeaking the hickey. Went squeaking the hickey. Okay, don't worry, that's a problem. I'm just gonna go straight on to my brows. I'm using this from the NYC palette. It's 782 Bronze in Brooklyn, and I'm using the middle shade for my eyebrows. And I'm using this angled brush that came with my little Do you wanna brushes. put some of my foundation on your eyes for a primer? No, because that's, I didn't pay for that. Okay. How are you, how's your brush now? It's quite good, thanks. <laughs> Wow, the pigmentation in these are, I mean, wow. <gasps> what? <gasps> what <Natalia>. are <laughs> It's not that bad. It doesn't look that bad, okay. Fix this side all. I'm going to take the darkest color with my beautiful brush. Can you show them the texture of that brush? And I'm going to work it in my crease area. I'm sure it's probably, you know, like, um, horse mane. or It's probably just nylon. And this is just, like, really chalky. And I, I don't really like it right now. I'm just going to start it on my outer corner. I really and can't. And slowly work it in my crease. I can't believe how pigmented this, especially this really I can't light believe light. how much this sucks. Which one? All of it. I'm gonna go back into my brow bone color with the skinny end and I'm gonna run it under my lower lash line. And at the end of the video, we'll have close ups of the makeup. So. We will? Yes, we will. Uh oh. You guys see? It's actually, you can really see the colors. I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. <sighs> oh god. Obviously, being a brow <laughs> makeup artist, this is not my um, preferred technique for my brows, but girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I'm using the color that I just put on the lower lash line on the outer and middle of my lid, and then I'm gonna go in with this gold color on the other end of my brush, and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner, and then I'm gonna put this underneath. Okay, I'm not complaining about my eyeshadow look. It's ugly, but I'm not 
it, I can see it being way worse. So you're not hating it either? Yeah. You're not mad at it? Now I'm just adding that little bit of highlight from the top of the palette right on my inner. How are you liking that? Inner. The highlight color. I'm so swatch it. Ugly. You don't like shimmer. No. It's a crime. It's a crime that you don't like shimmer. I don't like shimmer on my brow bone. Why? And then I'm gonna take this color with my finger and just kind of like work it on the innermost part of my eyes, like right there. I'm kind of jealous that you have shimmer. I have nothing shimmery. <laughs> hmm. Just kind of bring more light in the eyes. It's not really working. I'm going to use the Maybelline Bouncy Blush in Plum One, which I already have, and I'm a fan of. Um, you have that color already? Mm-hmm. Oh. And I'm going to use this wonderful MAC brush. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, wait, you cheater. I'm using the lightest color, just like she was just saying, on the inner corner. It's not um, shimmer, but it still does open the eye up. You know. Fair girls can still highlight. Use your fingers for that, because it's gonna get. You know what? Screw this brush. I'm just using it with my fingers, okay? Not working. Poor Talia. I don't know what I did. I it's the foundation that really messed everything up, okay? I think the moral of what we're finding. Hey, out I'm I'm done with my contour. I mean my exfoliation today is that some of these products work well, but if you were to invest in something, I would suggest in investing in some good brushes because it seems to be something that is really stopping us at this point is being able to, you know, apply these products properly. Would you say so? Well. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think y'all should just go for a clown look and just do that and you know you got so you need some red lipstick so don't make it look <gasps> towel <laughs> oh my gosh blend it out girl come on don't give up now I'm just gonna blend it out <laughs> or you can use a little bit of your rosé shot from your Give it here. No time. Oh my gosh. Am I doing all this for nothing? Are you not even <gasps> no, I'm still this? gonna upload it. So I'm gonna go in. Not that it matters at this point, but I'm going in with my blush. I did my contour with a matte shadow, which is totally acceptable. You can totally do that. Bring it up to your temples, ladies. And then her idea was to take this brush and use this as a contour. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take it on my brush. Well, I don't think you should use that brush for anything. This is a pretty, just very fair peachy pink. I do think that it is very nice for someone who doesn't like a lot of blush. You're cracking me up. Here, I have an idea and I'm serious. I think that you should take this off and show them what these products look like without your foundation underneath. Don't take the eyes off. We'll do it after. Well, I'll pause right now and why don't you take off the face part only and actually show them how these products could work without the stuff underneath. I look good. What are you trying to say? Well, I want them to see that just because that's bad doesn't mean that you have to. Fun. It's funny, it Keep is. Going. Okay. It's not really working, so I'm just gonna mix them all together and um, see if that works better. And then I'm gonna highlight my temple. Are you really doing something serious now? I'm totally serious. I mean, how could you not be serious? How gorgeous that is. This blush is a little dry for dry skin, but okay. Talia is gonna show you that some of these products would actually work pretty well had she not have used a 
foundation that didn't work so great. So she's going to go and take off their face part, not the eye part, but the face part. So she could show you how the blush works and the lipstick and everything else. So we'll be right back. She's making me. I think it's kind of fun. I think it's kind of fun. It's funny, but we want to. So with all this foundation, I'm going to quickly speed this up and do my brows real quick and then I will um, come back and actually try. She'll just use the products without the foundation because obviously that was a Fail. miss. <laughs> Next I'm going to do my liner. I'm really excited for this, so let's see. So I'm taking the middle color in the NYC palette and putting it on my eyelid. I just got this wet with my saliva, so yeah. Well, you know water is free, right? Not necessarily. Do you open your mouth when you're doing your liner too? Like this? Yeah, I know. I wonder why. Why do it's we always, why do we do that? I'm going to use that gold color in my inner corner. Ish. I'm going to take the dark color underneath my lower lash line like I did before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just highlighting my brow bone by the way with the top shimmery color. And then I'm going to take this little like eyeliner brush and take the black, uh, the brown again, and run it under my lower lashes. Then I'm gonna take that brown again and really get it on my sponge, if you can see that. That's a lot. And then just really, really try to pack it on, on the outer corners. If I could, I'd totally put a black liner on this and mascara and call it a look. Cause it really isn't that bad. No, it actually it looks nice. Wait, can you focus? And I'm going to take the blush carefully. I think I'm just gonna top this off with the red lipstick and call it a look. And I'm going to try to wet this and put it on my lower lash line, again. This looks like something like a crazy lady would wear. <laughs> okay, my look is called Raccoon Grandma. Why grandma? What is it? I don't know. I just Why you gotta hate on my grandmas? I'm just gonna blot. A lot. What do you think? I think you look good. I think I look like a disaster. You're, you know, the, your eyes are rotting. That, the shadow you use is actually nice and the brows are nice. The blush is nice. I just think that, unfortunately, the foundation wasn't nice, to say the least. So these are just swatches, but if you see this, You just touch it, it mm. comes right off. And eventually it just, you can't, it's, it's horrible. I, I can't. This foundation, ooh, ooh, close. Can you <laughs> put it further away? No, you get it. Okay. Get it. So just so you can see the difference that it's not always just the brand. This foundation, I'm gonna show you next to my swatches. Okay. It looks really nice and natural. It's almost like a dewy look. So I really, I really like it. It's not the most amazing, but I mean, compared to what happened to Talia, I'd much rather this. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do some makeup close-ups. Get it higher, higher. Not that close. On the other, the other side of your face. Turn on the catwalk. All 
Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed our video um, and you had a little bit of a laugh. I really enjoyed filming and thank you so much, Missy, for being with you. Thank you. Alright, well, thanks so much for watching. Bye.